A warm welcome to all of you, John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty today. Thanks John, hello everyone, I mean, what an atmosphere we've got in this stadium today, it's all very, very exciting. for today. Let's get down to business. Chance! Goal! And some of the best managers I've played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at him. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Manchester United been caught cold early on. Marcus Rojo. Rooney. He's looking to find his front men. The keeper's got it. They've scored in the opening ten minutes of the game to make it 1-0. Decisive pass that. Leaps for the header. That won't worry the keeper.
out, goal kick. Poor distribution from the keeper, that's a gift. Sterling trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. Philippe Coutinho. Gerard. Lifts it over the top. Ah, oh, good interception, just what they needed. And a much needed intervention that was too. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. Here's Philippe Coutinho. Away to safety. Well, he didn't have much on there. I thought he had to go with the run. Falcao. Play surges forward. Spoon forward. Gerard. An important interception. Things were starting to look dangerous. Played in accurately. Clever ball. There is half time. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. A tight old game this. 1 0 the scoreline. So off we go then with the second half. Falcao, he plays the ball out wide, the opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. He's going on. Falcao really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until support arrives a little sooner. And just maybe there he overdid it slightly and should have released it because the support was arriving quickly. And it's hit forward. Went over the goal line, so goal kick here. Mamadou Sako. Fifteen minutes of the second half played. Gerard puts it away. It's a two-goal lead now. He'd love to play against defenders as charitable as that every week. Look, you can only exploit the space if the pass is good enough. And in that instance, he was instinctive and quick, and it did the damage. It's 2-0. Well, that goal makes such a difference to the whole dynamic of this game. That second goal puts him in control now. Here's Van Persie. Van Persie tried to play it through. Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. It was, uh, it was a bit over-ambitious, but I like his thinking. Behind for a goal kick. Jordan Henderson picks the ball up straight from a goal kick. Oh. 
Phil Jones. Rooney looking to play on the break. Here's Falcao. Now there's a chance to counter. He's won that physical contest and with it the ball. Gerard, it's through, bursting forward. a really awkward move for the goalkeeper to deal with. Lucas with the foul. A yellow card. No cause for argument there. And that, I believe, is the first time we've seen a yellow card. Yes, it is. That was totally unnecessary. He needs to realise what he can and can't do before he makes decisions like that. Balls with Falcao. Here's Falcao. Van Persie! That's it. After much consultation with his stopwatch, the referee has blown for time. They've managed to win here after having played out of their skins today. An absolutely fantastic performance, which will have done their manager proud and thrilled their supporters. Listen, I've experienced the highs and the lows of derby clashes, and I can tell you that when you win one, it's uh, pretty special. There's so much at stake, it's, it's almost a relief to get it over, and uh, I certainly can identify with the euphoria we're watching now. I think they deserved it. So, thanks to Jim Beglin for joining me. That's all we have time for this afternoon.